In the ever-shifting landscape of financial markets, the hunt for profit takes on an almost adventurous quality. As the stock market's heartbeat flutters in uncertainty, Keith McCullough, the CEO of Hedgeye Risk Management, urges investors to break free from traditional allegiances and explore the uncharted. It's a grim backdrop for stocks. Yet McCullough's approach illuminates overlooked opportunities in unexpected corners from healthcare to gold, Japan to India, and beyond. But can these havens withstand the tempest McCullough foresees? The question hangs in the air, an urgent challenge that resonates deeply. Can investors adapt to a world turned on its head? Welcome to Global Economic Drops, where we bring you simple summaries of important daily and weekly economic news from around the world. Our mission is to simplify the economy and help you navigate the treacherous waters facing investors today. So before we get into today's videos, hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications by clicking the bell icon. And if you find our news briefs valuable, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below telling us just what you think is going on with the state of the world and share this video with a friend or two so that you can all stay updated together. Thanks for watching, and now let's dive into it. In the realm of finance, where tumultuous currents shape destinies overnight, Keith McCulloch emerges as a clarion voice, beckoning investors to embrace a new creed, one of adaptability and open-mindedness. In this age of swiftly evolving market dynamics, McCullough champions the audacious explorer's spirit, cautioning against locking one's hopes solely onto familiar U.S. stocks or fleeting market darlings. Instead, he challenges us to confront an impending tempest, the enigmatic stagflation, where high inflation joins hands with lethargic economic growth. McCullough, a trailblazer in the art of reading market omens, unveils a strategy that defies convention. He darts beyond conventional wisdom, steering investments into uncharted territories. Healthcare, glimmers of gold, distant shores like Japan and India, and even the robust energy sector emerge as his compass points. These might seem counterintuitive havens, but within their enigmatic folds lies the promise of resilience when the tempest makes landfall. The core of McCullough's narrative finds its roots in his skepticism toward the Federal Reserve's predictions and their power to warp reality. He paints a vivid portrait of a Fed caught in a cycle of misplaced confidence, fumbling in the face of looming storm clouds. Their actions, he asserts, are the compass to heed, not their words. A backdrop of recollections from history underscores his view. A Fed tightening its grip while the economy gasps for air echoes a parallel from 1987. It's a potent reminder that the market's love affair with stocks might just sow the seeds of its own reckoning. The looming question, then, rests on the Fed's next steps, personified by the imminent Jackson Hole Summit. McCullough, with the instinct of a seasoned tracker, anticipates the Fed's hawkish stance as inflation accelerates. This, he posits as, might just be the final spark to ignite the market's tinderbox. Yet, amidst the volatility, he offers a guiding light a roadmap for investors seeking safe harbors. For those who might feel adrift in the chaos, McCullough presents an alternative narrative, a call to own what the mainstream overlooks. Gold, old, traditional hedge, gleams as a beacon of resilience. Equities, he suggests, can be embraced without courting the volatility of the U.S. market, a bet on Japan and India's burgeoning economies, remarkably immune to the looming storm. In this world, where stagflation shadows the horizon, McCullough imparts wisdom, be the landlord, for amidst the storm's fury, it's ownership that prevails. He cites energy and uranium as the unsung heroes in such tumult. Amid the clamor for growth, he urges a return to basics, to sectors like healthcare, where humanity's enduring needs find their refuge. As the investment landscape bends under the weight of uncertainty, McCullough's voice reverberates as a guiding star. The winds of change might howl, but within their embrace lies opportunity. It is an opportunity born of adaptability, of embracing the unexpected, of navigating the storm with resilience and daring. And so, we're loved, 
with a question, one that carries a symphony of emotions. Can we recalibrate our strategies to flourish in a world disrupted as McCullough does, or will we be swept away by the storm's fury? Share your thoughts in the comments section below, and remember to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on global economic news. See you on the next video, and please like and share if you enjoy our content.